So then they'll take the, the shell, put it back in, cover it up, vanish this ball, vanish that ball, put this back in, make it all come back together. So for the shell, the first thing we're going to do is drill a depth hole. And we're going to check it on the template. So there, there's a blue, we're not going to use the tag, the where the tape is, we're going to use the blue mark on the drill bit. So that's the first thing we're going to do. Now, is that going to be to what's going to the final depth, or are you shy of it by some known amount? Yeah, it's shy by something. But like a big something or a little something? A tiny little something. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the template and we're going to scribe the diameter of the shell. And we're going to make that a little bit tight. So it's like a 30 second or less smaller than the outside of that template. So that's the line I'm going to turn to. This is a half inch spindle gouge. I think this is um, a detail gouge, a long and strong. So I'm going to go in and make a back cut. Start with the hole between 12 o'clock and 2 o'clock. Rub the bevel in the opposite direction of what we're used to seeing. And we're just going to follow it out. So that's down to the depth the, the hole that we drilled. So now to turn up this larger diameter, I've got to raise the tool rest because you saw that I was struggling to get it to ride the bevel when it was down a little bit lower. So now I'll come up and get that bigger diameter. The problem with this cut is that the hole is not hemispherical, it's more cone shaped. So at about 45 degrees in there, there's a flat. Um, so we erred on the side of caution. We didn't take the whole cut. And we'll scrape that out with the French curve scraper. It's a negative rake scraper, and it's made from an old planer blade. French curve is a drafting tool. Uh, it's, a, it's an irregular curve. It's not a true radius on anyone. And uh, when I first started making these, because I thought I would need a scraper that uh, traced every radius that I would need to uh, turn, I had a, f a perfect radius ground on them to match the radius that I was turning. So I had four scrapers for each vase. And what I figured out is that the closer I came to the true radius of that tool, the bigger the bite and the bigger the catch. Uh -huh. So I ended up grinding them into a French curve scraper and using a template. And is that boxwood? This is boxwood. Oh, that good.